everybody, it's Chris once again with another inverter stuff update. I received the ANL fuses and holders today in the mail. Um, one of them, this guy over here, which is basically a plastic holder that this pops off and the fuse goes across these and your wire would be crunched through the two or three, looks like, screws on each side. It'll go to a zero gauge wire. It came with a zero gauge lead that will go in one side and gives me a bob end for the uh, hookup either on the battery side or more likely the inverter side. And this one um, is the same thing. It's an ANL fuse holder. I haven't taken it off yet, but there's a uh, Phillips head screws to take this off. The fuse will lay across these bolts here same scenario zero gauge wire has a plastic piece in there i have to take out and um except this one came with two 300 amp fuses while the other one the plastic one came with a 200. i did order an accessory pack of different fuses also so i'm probably going to have some extras but i'm probably going to use a 300 for 3000 watts of current because that's what the surge is on the OSP Tiger Claw. So I had some, uh, what is this? Two gauge wire here with a 300 amp capacity. So I'm just gonna cut this in half and use it to feed the inverter side down to the battery direct, bolt it in and uh, mount it back up on the wall where the, the other little Harbor Freight 1200 was. So let me uh, wrap this all up and together and get this cable cut. And we'll snap back to a completed with a okay, final one. So I ended up using the one with the LCD display. So it shows me my battery voltage. You can see it here. Fuses across the front, the two, two gauge wires, uh, one to the battery here and just loops around here and got it bolted up here. I left the small negative on for now because that one never gets hot. It's only the big power one that gets hot. I'll swap it out. I'll do a couple load tests here and we'll uh, see. I gotta clean these batteries off a little bit. They're a little dirty, but let's uh, let's fire up that heater to see if I can blow a uh, $16 fuse. Now that we're rated for uh, 3,000 watts. All right, so turning the heater on with. 700 watts and like I said yesterday I like to let the element kind of heat up a little bit just to get some uh, stuff I'm gonna also test the temperature of this battery cable so as the element here starts to heat up I do have a super bright uh, overhead light on for the camera you can see it's starting to heat up here getting orange it's a little dusty and as it heats up the voltage or the watts drop a little bit so let's hold around 650 we'll kick it up to eight battery cable still cool Let's go for the burn here. 1500. 1407. No fans. You can see my battery voltage here. 11.8. Dropped a little bit. 1381. The cables are good. Ooh, the ground does get warm. So I will have to update that one. But, the other elements coming on. Old 1500 watt heater. There we go. I'm gonna have a 300 amp fuse in there, so my batteries are increasing now. Solar's on. So we got it. I got it mounted up. I got the uh, big two old cable one plugged in here where the solar comes in. These big ones just link the other two rows of batteries together. Uh, there's the ground. And uh, there's a little tiny wire that has to be grounded to show the current. We're at 13.1. Good to go. 300 amp fuse. There we go. 
300 amp fuse and 900 amp hours of current so that's it osp 1500 tiger claw pure sine wave inverter installed <laughs>